guys, Sam here and today I decided to do another vlog because I wanted to start my 12 Days of Christmas series. So I'm just going to announce this quickly so I can go make my pizza. Here's a video of me making my pizza. And here's the after clip of my pizza. Well, that was earlier now. So, anyway, I've just come back from swimming now. And, um, we did, it was good tonight. It was like the fun night where, where they get all the floats out and then we just steal each other's floats and hit each other off their own floats. Well, it's quite good anyway. So, I thought I'd just start out this series quite simple. I'm going to, like, wrap some presents in a minute, so I might show you me doing that, just for something to do. Tomorrow I'll be having day two as a video of, like, decorating the house, which is going to be pretty nice, and at the end, a cinematic. So, let's get into this today, then. So, right here I have my Gaillian, uh shell chocolates. They're very nice. They're, like, kind of, like kind of truffle nugget Pauline kind of thing the box is mostly in French or German so I can't really tell you much about it you may have tried them before they're quite posh treats anyway so I'm going to wrap get some wrapping paper to start off with some that will so I'll make sure it will fit halfway over the box and then I'm going to cut This is the most annoying bit, kept in the actual wrapping paper. It doesn't matter, like, if I use too much of it, because this roll is very big, and it was only, like, I had two for two pounds, which was good, because otherwise I would have had to pay three pounds. My mum had the one, and I had the other. I like this one better than the other one. There we go. Right, so let's move that out of the way. And... Now we're going to check it this way, and which means we're going to cut it long ways now, this way. And this box is a nice size because it's like it's one of the, it's a square, not a rectangle, and all the sides are the same size, which makes things a lot easier in life. So now I'm actually going to wrap this around here. So I'm going to do it this way actually, so then when you open it it will be nicer. So first we start off like that and we get some sellotape which is all stuck to my fingers. Oops. And we stick it down like that. Simple. Push this through a little bit. And now we're going to use this and I'm going to fold it in. This isn't perfect, I'm not a professional wrapper. See, I've already broken a bit of the paper there, which isn't good. And again, whoops. And now I'm going to wrap this over like that. Get another piece of sellotape. And stick it down like that. And I'm going to do the same with the other side. I'm going to try and make it look the same. And nice. And now I'm going to fold it up. Oops. Oops. Fold it up and over like that keep on the camera shall we and stick some cell tape on this is kind of like a tutorial i use an e how tutorial to learn how to wrap presents because it's hard and now i'm going to get some of this nice ribbon i have here which i got from wilco's it's very nice it was only a pound oh well the top of it just came off i didn't even know it did that I'm actually going to keep that because that's quite nice. 
There isn't that much ribbon left, so I've got to use this. Not like I've got to use this well. Mm. Right. So how shall I do this? Right now, I'm going to measure this up like this, and I'm going to put my finger there, which means I've got to cut just across where my nail is, like that. So I've got one that goes that way. I'm going to need some more cellar tape now. So what I'll do then is I'll turn this over, lay the ribbon down flat, just like that, and then tie this over to the middle of it. There we go. And I'm going to make sure it's even nicely stretched so it's not slack. And then I'm going to get some cell tape and stick that over. This year I've done much more work in wrapping my presents because I bought this really nice ribbon. I like it a lot, this ribbon. <laughs> right, um, now I'm going to put that down on there and do this again. But I'm doing it on the wrong side again like that and we're going to measure it out so it comes about there then we're going to cut and wrap this rack around like that I can also put this back on the top just slide in I'll keep that for a nice present Right, so then I'm going to wrap this over there again like that. And I'm going to have to cut some more set dip. Because you do run out. Um, this is the worst bit, trying to find the end. I'm going to need three more pieces, so I may as well cut a lot. Right. I'm going to stick this on my cupboard. Easy use. I'm going to have like 10 out of this. Loads. 4, not 10. <laughs> I over exaggerated a bit there. Right, so um, make sure it's tight. Like so. Get some starting. I really like this ribbon, it's really nice. Hmm. So then tip it back over, just squiggle it into the middle of it. And now I'm going to get one of my nice bows. And we're going to see which one looks the best. Either a red one or a silver one. Just get a big one. So there's the red one and there's the silver one. I personally prefer the silver one. You're probably shouting at the screen, telling me you want the silver one. But that's tough luck for this one. Because I much prefer the red one. That's why I actually bought this box. It has more ribbon in the bottom as well. Which is nice. So now I'm going to stick this bow on. This nice big red bow. Let's just peel off the stickies. Secure it down. Right in the middle of the ribbon. And it doesn't actually stick to the ribbon very well, so I'm going to get some cellar tape now. That's why I cut loads more. So now if I get some cellar tape, get, get a little grip. It's very hard to do this. Get a little grip over that part. Mm. Like that. I know you can't see, sorry about that, it's extremely hard this part. So I've got to do it like over here. I messed up and put the wrap in there, so I'll just stick this out tape down. And then we'll turn it over to this side, I may as well put it on that side so you can see. And pull this up and stick cell tape on the white pad and then push it down like that. And done. Now, nearly done actually, we're not fully done. And last but not least, important feature, a little gift tag. So that one's done, and also here's another one which I've done earlier, a bigger one. I like this idea, and I think it's very good. So anyway, this is the end of my vlog today, so thanks for watching this video guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.